When all the uh, shooters indicate that they're ready to go, you can take out a shell at that point, put it in your gun, close your gun, and call for the target. Pull! At that point, you take the shell out. With a break-open gun like this, you can let it fly behind you. It doesn't bother anyone. If you're shooting a semi-auto or a pump gun, don't eject the shell onto another competitor. That's very disconcerting and it's bothersome. Leave the gun open until it's your turn to shoot again. Never, never, never turn around, look backwards with the gun or point the gun at anything unless you're ready to shoot and it's loaded and you're over the trap house. Don't, uh, don't put the gun up in the air. Always keep the gun pointed down. At, in hunting, you keep the gun up in the air. Trap shooting, you keep the gun pointed down all the time because you have people all around you and if you have the gun over your shoulder or something like that, you're pointing right at someone. Don't do it. Point the gun at the ground. If you're shooting an over-under or pump gun, just keep the barrel down. So let's move on to the second post. After we've all shot five shots, then it's time to rotate, and the scorekeeper will tell you to rotate. The leadoff person comes to number two, number five comes over to number one, and again, you wait until everyone is ready. You don't need to ask them, you just look around and everyone is ready, ready to go. At that point, you take out another round, put in your gun, then you can close the gun because it's your turn to shoot. Pull! Take the shell out, same procedure. Keep the gun unloaded, keep it down until it's your turn to shoot again. Then you, when it's time to rotate, then the, number, the person that's on number five comes over to one. You move to three. Here it's the same procedure again. You load the gun when it's your turn to shoot. When everyone is ready, that's when you load the gun. Call for the target. Pull! And you move on. Never, ever turn around with the gun. Don't eject your shells on the, on the competitor. Never raise your gun to your shoulder until it's your turn to shoot. Once in a while, you'll see new shooters raise their gun as the other person is shooting. And you can imagine how disconcerting that would be. So eye and ear protection, safety off all the time. Never put a safety on a trap gun. And always point the gun down. The gun is always broken until it's your turn to shoot then you load it and then you shoot. One other thing, when you're changing <coughs> from one post to the next, when it's rotation time, never, never, never leave a shell in the gun. Once in a while, you'll see someone leave their shell in the gun, the gun's broke open, and they'll walk to the next station. Don't do that, because you could fall down, anything could happen, the gun could go closed, someone could get hurt. If you see someone doing this, it's another part of etiquette and safety if you see someone breaking any of these rules, very politely ask them not to do that. That is your responsibility as one of the shooters. Ask them not to do it politely. If they continue to break those rules, and those are rules of the club, they're not only rules of etiquette and safety, they are rules of shooting. If they continue to do that, it's time to stop the, the entire round and go talk to one of the officials of the gun club. That's your responsibility as a shooter. It keeps everyone safe. And it's one of the paramount reasons that trap shooting is one of the safest sports in the world. There, there's virtually no injuries or death in trap shooting in its entire history. And that's why. It's because you leave the safety off because there's never an opportunity to put a shell on the gun until you're ready to shoot and the gun's pointed in a safe direction. And if you follow those simple steps, it's amazing how safe and comfortable everyone will feel and when you do that everyone is going to enjoy shooting with you. Another thing to think about especially with the voice activated machines now where you where you don't uh, at a lot of clubs they don't have a puller anymore that actually pushes the button when you say pull but rather they have a voice activated uh, uh, microphone right in front of each post and you say pull and it triggers the target. 
So if you're talking during the round, it not only is disconcerting to other shooters, but it throws a lot of targets and you, you'll end up not having enough targets for the round. So th that's another easy way to remember it. If you, uh, if you talk about it, it's going to cause too many targets to fly and it's also very disconcerting. Another thing to remember, if you miss a target, and you will miss a target, believe me, you'll miss a target. Uh, unless you're the greatest that's ever walked the earth, you're gonna miss a target. Act like a gentleman, don't throw a fit, don't throw your round on the ground, don't stomp your feet, don't turn around. You'll find people that do that. Do not turn around if that happens, because everyone's been there, everyone has these problems. Don't let it bother you to that degree. Be a sportsman, be a gentleman, and always help out everybody else. And again, it's your responsibility to make sure that other people are safe as well. Not just yourself, but other people. You don't have to be rude about it, but be firm about it. And that keeps everyone safe, and it makes you a better shooter, and it makes you a better teammate on a squad.